Okay, so here we are back in our make code interface and we are all set to code our device now that we have it built. Um, again, when we start up the make code interface, we have our start and our forever hat blocks and we won't need the start block for this, so we're going to get rid of it. And we're just going to be dealing with our forever loop here. And the first thing we want to do with this code is to grab an if else statement. So those are always found in our logic. Here they are, if else. And we're going to take it and snap it into that forever loop. Now our input for the fan hat, um, if we think about this for a second, we want our fan to turn on um, dependent on a uh, certain temperature level. Right? So what that means is our input is going to be related to our temperature sensor. So if we go into inputs, we can see along the line here at the very bottom, we have our temperature block here. So this block here refers to temperature sensor. Now what we need to do, we can't just snap this in there because if temperature sensor isn't a complete sentence, we want to complete that statement. So what we have to do is go into our logic and here we have a less than statement and what we want to do is change this so that it says greater than so down the line here we have greater than and we can actually then snap this into there and all we're going to do is take our temperature block and snap this in to start to complete this statement. So what we're saying is if temperature is greater than, and Gracie and I were talking, and based on the weather forecast for the next few days, we thought um, we're going to be seeing around uh, 28, 27 degrees on a daily basis for the next little while. But with the Humidex, it might creep up above that. So what we decided is that we were going to set our threshold at 28 degrees. So what this says is that if temperature in degrees Celsius reaches more than 28 degrees, we want something to happen. Now, the output that we're going to be dealing with, this is our input. Our output that we're going to be dealing with is the fan sort of uh, when the temperature reaches above 28 we want that fan to kick in and the fan is actually connected to our pins right our input output pins and what we're going to say all the way up top here we have digital right pin zero and we're going to actually grab that one and snap it into our then portion so if this happens then we want this to happen and we're going to leave pin 0 the way it is because our fan is actually connected to pin 0 but we're going to change this number and with the pins you're either turning them the device that's attached to that pin on or off and with coding 0 always means off 1 always means on so we're going to actually change this 0 to 1 so what we're saying here is that if temperature reaches more than 28, then we want to turn whatever's connected to pin 0 on. And we can complete this statement by going back into our pins, and we're going to grab another digital right pin 0, and we're going to leave it at 0. So now this completes our statement. Basically, on a forever cycle, on this forever loop, we have a statement that says if temperature reaches above 28 degrees, then we want to turn our fan on. If it's not above 28, meaning less than 28, a colder day, then we want to keep that fan off. And that's essentially it for the bulk of this code. The other thing that we wanted to do to monitor our temperature is to display temperature. So if we go back into basic, we have all of our basic functions here, we can grab another forever loop. And we're going to click that in here. And if we go back into basic, we can see, again, this show number. We've used this before in other um, uh, sequences of code, and we're going to use it again. This time, though, we're going to show number temperature. 
So we can grab this temperature block again and snap it in. And now what this code is saying, we have our um, sensor with the fan being uh, actuated, turning off and on. Uh, but then we also have this other sequence that's running in parallel that's going to constantly show the temperature of the outside air of the, uh, of the day. And this completes our, our code for our fan hat. So now that we have the fan hat built, this is our code. We're just going to download this to our micro bit and be ready to take it out on the road with us for the next week or so.